Hello class, this is Mrs. Matos. Today we're going to go over our writing lesson number 145. All right, writing lesson number 145. Um, there is no written assignment for today that you would have to turn in to me, but if you guys can have a paper ready, as I always say, and just make sure to be, uh, we're gonna work on answering questions together. All right, so make sure you're following along. All right, um, so I do have three words for you, but before I give you those words, our topic for today is canoes. Can you guys echo me? Canoes, all right? Um, and then I'll make sure to bring you down so you can see what we're going to be working on today. Um, also, the three words that I have, one is water. Can you guys echo me? Water, all right? And then we have canoe, okay, canoe and paddle all right paddle okay and i actually have a picture for you that i want to show you of canoes all right just so you have an idea maybe you know what they are or some of you guys have never seen one so just so you guys have an idea as to what they are i'll show you a picture so let me grab that for you all right so here is a nice picture of a canoe. Hopefully you guys can see it. You see, it's pretty long, right? I would say about five people can fit there, right? Depending on how big it is, you know, uh, you can fit a different amount of people, right? But it's really pretty. Raise your hand if you have ever been on a canoe ride. I have never been on a canoe ride. I think you guys are braver than I am. So let me put this down. All right, so that is an example of a canoe, as I said. All right, I'm going to be just giving you a class some information about canoeing. So our topic is canoes, but just listening ears, and then we're gonna talk about a few questions that are back here listed. We're gonna read them together. We're gonna answer them together as well in full sentence form all right usually class when you guys have a question that you're reading that you must answer you need to continue working on answering in a complete sentence form right so you have to make sure that you're answering the question appropriately and that you're not missing any information of what is being asked to you all right Okay, so when two people are in the same canoe, beginning canoeists usually steer the front bow of the canoe while more experienced canoeists steer the canoe from the back stern. The word canoe means dug out. All right, dug out. A canoe is usually class around 16 feet long. 16 feet long all right so you guys already know my yardstick class my yardstick has three feet in a yardstick so there's three feet in a yard so just so you guys have an idea we need eight of these eight of these that's pretty long right so um that's how long the canoes can be so just so you can have an idea so again this is three feet 36 inches, and they're telling us that a canoe can be as long as 16 feet. So it would require eight of these, all right? as about the length of eight of these. All right, let me continue reading to you. All right. Okay, so that was an example of a canoe. Of course, nowadays we have now uh, other canoes that look nicer or with a lot more color in them, and they can be um longer or probably smaller okay so now we have some questions that we're going to read and we're going to answer all right i have some questions behind here behind me the first question class is where would you canoe where would you canoe okay the second question class says who would you take with you all right, who would you take with you? All right, and then the next one is uh, asking, what would you see? What would you see? Okay, 
And then the last question class is, what would you do if it tipped over? I'm gonna pray that never happens to any of us, right? If we ever go canoeing, right? Cause that wouldn't be a fun thing, right? So before we answer those questions together, I do need to bring you down, all right? So that you guys are able to uh, work with me and we can answer those questions, all right? So let me turn this over. Let me bring you down and then turn it over. All right. So class, I need you to start thinking about where would you canoe? All right. Who would you take with you? What would you see? And then what if, what if um, your canoe would tip over? What would you do? Would you be scared? Would you be okay? Would you be nervous, you know? So those are questions that we're going to consider as we are working right now and answering class those questions. So let me go ahead and turn you around, to turn, turn this around so that we have some space to write our answers nice and neat. All right. Okay, class, so, all right, I think that should be good. Where would you canoe? I'm going to, I'm going to answer the question, class, by saying I would canoe at the uh, lake. I, sorry, this doesn't work. So I'm going to answer the question appropriately. Um, I start my sentence correctly by answering what is being asked of me. I, I would go canoeing. I would I would go canoeing. I'm just going to say at the lake. Okay, is this a complete sentence? You can nod your head. Yes, it is. Um, the question is, where would you canoe? I would go canoeing at the lake. Or I would canoe at the lake. All right, question number two. Who would you take with you? Who would you take with you? So I would start my sentence off by saying, I would take my best friend with me. Okay, so who would you take with you? I would take my best friend. Let's do that. I would take my best friend okay just a quick reminder class um right now i am writing larger than what i should be writing so that you guys can see i'm not following my guides right so i'm going to go a little off track into cursive for a second <laughs> If we would be writing your lowercase letters, you would be using these, the dotted line and the bottom line as your guides. Capitalized letters would be the tall, both um, solid lines. Right now, I am purposefully writing larger so that you guys can see, right? So this, since this board is a little tiny. So I apologize for that, but I don't want you guys to think it's okay to write outside of your guide. So don't get out of your habit of practicing correctly, okay? So uh, just in case you were wondering. So I would go canoeing at the lake. I would take my best friend, all right? What would you see? What would you see? Okay, so I would see um several trees okay 
So I'm just thinking a lot of green. I would see a lot of trees. If you guys can close your eyes for a second. If you guys are there with me, we're both canoeing. There's a lot of trees, right? There's probably going to be a lot of, of like water, streams of water in different areas and a lot of rocks, right? This is what I'm envisioning, right? Um, a lot of trees. Maybe you will see some some chipmunks there, right? Running around, right? Um, a lot of shady areas is what I would think, right? Um, okay, so what would I see? I'm just going to see, I would see many trees. I would see many trees. Let me go ahead and write it. And then I'll check if you're able to see and then I'll bring you down if I need to, okay? I would see many trees okay let me see if um your guys are able to see all that if not i'll have to bring you down like i say so you're not able to see anymore okay so let me bring you down a little bit more so that we can finish our work i'm gonna stop there oh righty Okay, the last question, class, the last question that we have is, what would you do if it tipped over? What would you do, class, if it tipped over? If it tipped over, if it would tip over for me, I would be really scared. But what I would do is, since naturally, if the canoe tips over, more than likely we're going to fall into the water. So what I would do is I would swim back up and make my way, you know, f uh, s um, swap, I'm sorry, flip the canoe over and then get in myself. So I'm going to say, well, what would I do if it tipped over? I would, actually, if it tipped over, I would swim up. I'm just going to say that. Um, so I'm just going to say, I'm going to swim. I would swim. If it would tip over, I would swim, okay? So that's a long sentence, but it is a full sentence. I'm answering back in a complete sentence form, meeting all of my, uh, answering my question correctly, all right? So I'm not sure if you guys would be able to see. Hopefully you are able to. So what will you do? If it tipped If it tipped over, I would, I would swim, period. Okay, class, so this is a really good example class of how we can work on answering in complete sentences and complete sentence form, right? We are answering by using some of the words that are being asked to at us so that we are answering just better. We, we're sounding better and that helps us so that we can work on how are we going to write those sentences as we're answering those questions, right? So make sure you guys um, read your sentences. If you guys would like to do it on a separate paper or if you guys were working with me, even better, awesome job. You should always be working with me along for every lesson, right? So again, there's no written assignment for you. You don't have to turn anything to me. You should have been just following along with the paper, you know, and then if you would like to answer your own questions, all right, if you would want to answer your own, own questions, you're so more than welcome to do that, right? So where would you canoe? Who would you take with you, right? Uh, what would you see? And what would you do if it tipped over? So it's just a few questions. I mean, I wanna challenge you if you want to do it, that'd be awesome, write them down. Um, have your mom and dad or whoever check them for you, make sure they're full sentences. And uh, that would be a great idea to do, okay? So that concludes our writing lesson number 145. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great rest of your day. Give me a wave. Bye.